All right, guys, let's talk about um, you and your tenant and your relationship. All right. I will never tell anybody to be a slumlord. I've, I've been subject to that. I've had slumlords as a tenant, and I refuse to ever put my tenants through that. Um, it's not necessary. Uh, I'm not cheap. I love my money. I like to keep as much of it as I can, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to cheat my tenants because I've been through it so I can be empathetic with a, a bad situation. All right. So your tenant, your tenant is actually an employee. And what I said before about finding a good tenant, you want to find a good employee. All right. So take care of your, your tenant slash employee because that person is making you money. So treat them well. Don't bend over backwards for every every little thing because they're going to take advantage of you. And like I said before, put your foot down. All right. Don't let them take advantage of you. Know that you mean business. And you're not going to take any garbage from them. Um, and you know, it's going back to you know my first, fifth, and twelfth for the days and, and getting tenants out. Communication with your tenant is key. As I said before, text. I love text messages because I don't have to talk to the person. Have to listen to unnecessary um, mumbo jumbo. I love text messages because it is now a paper trail. Text your tenants as much as possible. Email your tenants as much as possible. Use social media as much as possible. But you need to have a paper trail because if you ever ever use it, it's like, uh, I guess it's your Miranda rights. What can and will be used against you. So you need to have it for them as well in case you do have to go to court. When my tenants ask me about making improvements or doing some kind of work, I tell them it's their home. I want them to take pride in being in their home. It's my home, but they need to feel like it's their home while they're there. All right. So anytime they want to make any kind of improvements to the property, uh, I let them. It, it, depending, and it has to be you, there has to be a happy medium. You know, I tell them, you want to paint the paint the walls, don't paint them neon orange, neon pink, and and hot yellow, because you're gonna because you as a landlord are gonna have to deal with it later. Um, they want to put shrubs, bushes, um, any kind of landscaping, and it's gonna look good. And they have to approve it with me first. I'll pay for half. I'll pay for all the supplies if they, if they provide the labor. Never had a problem with that. They need to provide me a receipt because that receipt is a write-off. And I need to touch on that again about uh, corporations. And uh, I'm going to do another segment on that because I did forget some uh, key points, but we'll go back to that. Um, make your tenants feel special. They are your employee. On their birthday, when you get when you get all the information from a lease agreement, put in your phone that it's their birthday. Put in your phone in a memo section what their kids' names are, all right? On their birthday, give them a $50 Walmart card or take some money off rent. Um, it goes a long way because you're not only a business contact for them, they'll consider you uh, an acquaintance or a friend. And you know you have to know where to draw the line, but any kind of holidays, um, you know, send them something. Oh, you know, I, I was a tenant in a commercial property and every year, um, my landlord sent me a hundred dollar bottle of scotch. Um, and he said he wanted to meet with me and we talked for a little bit. He'd asked me how I was going. Um, and he gave me a bottle of scotch, you know, um, hundred dollars. Okay. It's, it's, it's a, it's a good chunk of money for a, a Christmas, it was a Christmas present. Um, but if I'm paying him $2,500 a month, he's making, you know, 30 grand off of me. So for a hundred dollars, it's, it's completely worth it. Go buy your tenant something. Um, a gift card that they can use for your property. Um, it's like those people that buy presents for people that they benefit from. Um, it, it just just take care of your tenant. Um, don't raise rent if you don't have to. You're going to keep them for a long time. Charge less than what everybody else does. Um, they'll really appreciate it. And the key thing is here is find a good tenant, keep a good tenant, tenant retention.